Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we're going to check out this device. This one is HTC Desire 816, released back in 2014. So when I got this device, it was running on Android 4.4 KitKat, based on Chinese HTC Sense. And Chinese HTC Sense does not come with G apps, so you can't really use G apps on that. And as you know, if you are watching my video, Android 4.4 is not really usable anymore. So in that case, I was looking for a custom ROM for this device because this is actually a really, really good device. I used this device for a few months with Android 4.4. It worked really well on that, but I was looking for something else which will make this device a little bit more useful. Finally, I found a ROM which is based on Android 12 and currently the device is running on Android 12. That's amazing actually for a 10 years old device to run Android 12. So as you can see here, it is running pretty pretty well. That's kind of amazing actually that this device can run Android 12 because the specs is pretty low. It got only 1.5 gig of RAM and 8 gig of internal storage. And the processor is also not really that great. It is Snapdragon 400 processor which is a good core processor. With those things, this device is running Android 12 as you can see here, Android 12. And this one is actually Lineage OS 19. And the CPU device level is from August 5, 2022. So it is pretty recent build. And that device runs pretty well. So first of all, let's talk about the design of the device. So this device got a 5.5 inch 720p display, but the display actually looks pretty good. It is sharp enough to use even today. And on the front, we are getting a 5 megapixel front facing camera with stereo speakers. So the stereo speakers are good, but not really good on this device because the speakers are cracked right now. So they don't really sound good. On the right hand side, we got our SIM trays and a micro SD card slot. On the left hand side, power button and volume rockers. On top, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the bottom, micro USB port. And on the back, we are getting a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with flash. And the camera is actually pretty good. For a device from that time, the camera is pretty good. So let's check what we can do with the device. So as I said, this device is running on Android 12 and I have installed GApps also. So GApps, we've got Google Play Store and Play Store is working well. You can download any application from here. Obviously, this device is going to slow down and I think it is much better than the stock 4.4 because you can't really do much with Android 4.4. You can't even install a Facebook application here. But here you can use any Google application. All are supported. Obviously, they're going to be slower side, but everything works. You can install WhatsApp here. You can install Line here, but you can't use bank application as you are not getting any kind of safety net feature. So as you can see, we can download Google Chrome and everything. And I have already installed YouTube here. So as you can see here, YouTube is working. By the way, this device can play 1080p video without any kind of issue. So if I try any video right now, let me try an CS video. So the sound quality is pretty good. Obviously this ROM is not really optimized well for this device. But anyway, what we are getting is pretty decent. And in terms of gaming, you can still do offline gaming here. Like older Temple Run, Subway Surf, all those games still run pretty well. Maybe the latest version of those games will struggle a little bit. But if you install older version of them, they will run pretty well on this device. And in terms of camera, as I said, the camera is actually pretty good. As we are using a custom ROM here, the camera application we are getting here is a Snapdragon camera application. It works really well, but we are not getting much feature like HTC Sense UI. They come with better optimization, but still, as a custom ROM, you can't really complain. The camera quality is good. You can still shoot up to 1080p video with this device. And in terms of other feature, the UI is pretty much similar to all other Android 12 based ROM. So pretty smooth and i haven't faced any issue here actually only you will find lag like it is crashing sometime sometime it gets pretty slow 
that's what expected but other than that phone calls networks all those things working pretty well on this device even the battery backup is also pretty good so as you can see here the ROM is actually pretty good and it makes the device pretty much useful for today's time and you can still use this device as a dumb phone or carry on phone you can uh, put a SD card here and listen to music and also you can use whatsapp line and all those application it does work pretty well going to be slow outside but for a 10 years old device i think that's fine obviously if you are using this device for your phone call and messaging i think it will be much better to keep your device on stock rom but if you are using for something like whatsapp line and all those things i think it's better to update your device to android 12 or something lower if you get but i could not able to find anything lower than this rom which support all the application but anyway if anyone wants to try this rom on their device i will put the rom link in the description below so that's all about htc desire 816 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one